So, I'm going to go straight for the juggler this morning. If you've got one of these, and one of these, put them in the bin. If it's of March the 22nd, they're no longer valid. Hello! Well, that was a bit stark, wasn't it? Good, start, good way to start the morning. Yes, those two books will no longer be valid as of March the 22nd. There are two new ones. And they're both coloured brown. And they're both coming out in April. Um, so yes, the on blue what this blue on site guide. Mm -mm. This blue massive great thing. I've got round them all way. There you go, round that way. That's all gone on the floor. So yes, all those uh, <laughs> naysayers in my comments in my first part of this video saying, oh it'll never happen and there'll be changes and the AFTT changes they'll only approve. No. As I'll show you in a second, this uh, press release from the IET, they are set in stone, they are coming out. We'll go through them in a second. On top of all these changes, yes, there is an exam. And that took me by surprise when I found out today. 2382-22. That's coming out in April. Uh, no word yet on whether you have to take it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I will try and find out um, later today or in the next few days whether it is a, a mandatory thing to keep your competent person scheme. I have no idea. Um, I didn't even know there was an exam. Um, so <laughs> there you go. It is that big. That's what I said in part one. Now, it's an enormous change and it's reflecting on the fact that these are no longer, again, these are no longer valid. So, yeah, so that's another, I think the latest price I've seen for the uh, the new BS7671 is £90. And I think this one was uh, an extra 30 so that's another 120 quid we've got to spend. Oh good, with all the electricity increases and everything else going on. That's all we need to start the year. There you go. Anyway, let's have a look at this press release from the IET and let's have a look see what they're saying. Okay, so here is the uh, here is the press release. So let's go down here. It was actually published a couple of days after I put the last video out. <laughs> so there you go. So there you are. So they've signed, as you can see, the first sentence. The Institute of Elect Engineering and Technology and BSI have today signed off the content for Amendment Two to BS Seven Six Seven One, which introduces the new requirement for the Art Fault Detection Devices (AFDDs) and other requirements, which we'll go into now. So here's the statement, this bit here, let's just highlight it, there we go. So Amendment 2 does indeed come into effect on the 28th of March 2022 as I previously reported. But, not on, but on top of that, the previous amendment, Amendment 1, will be withdrawn six months after that. So if my math is right, that's in September. So let's have a look very quickly, let's just have a look at the changes. Some of these I've already covered. So the new requirement for art fault detected devices in some AC file circuits for installations in some types of high risk residential buildings. Now, reading that you might think, oh, they did change it, they've made some changes. And I know there was a comment in there that it's only for high risk buildings. It hasn't changed from, the, from my previous video. Uh, I've lost it, there it is, it's here. It's exactly the same. It has not changed. So it's still valid for domestic properties. Yes, the, the types of circuits you're supposed to be put into, um, you, know, you don't have to do it for lighting circuits, for example, but it's still going to be mandatory for domestic settings. Okay, just to make that clear. We've then got a requirement for fire safety design. Um, so that's escape routes. It, I've not actually read totally that particular um, regulation yet but it looks like it might be that you now can't have certain things in escape routes uh, where you were at a little bit of leeway before so it looks like that's disappeared so I will check that and put that in another update at some point um, overload, uh, over voltage protection that's um, surge protection devices SPDs I will read on that um, and changes to identification labels and notices for consumer units again I haven't read that totally yet, but I will do and I will put it in an update um, video um, after our half term, so maybe in a week or two's time. Chapter 8, I've not read at all. 
I'll be absolutely honest, I haven't read that at all. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, but we will, I will put something in there uh, to follow that up. So there we go. I'm afraid all those people who thought that um, Amendment 2 just either wouldn't appear or there'd be changes. Um, there's a lot of people in my previous part thought that the AFD changes would never happen. Well, I'm afraid they are, and they have. It's all set in stone now, I'm afraid. So, March 22nd, March, sorry, March 28th, and um, we're going to have to start adhering to Amendment 2, and in a year's time, on the 28th of March 2023, all new consumer units will have to have these AFDD. Oh well, never mind. Let's just, all we can do is hope that the prices can <laughs> come down. That's all we can hope. Uh, oh well, we'll just have to see how the next year goes, I suppose. Uh, I will check with um, with uh, my competent person scheme, which is NAPIT, to find out if we have to take 2382-22. Uh, whether we have to have the brown versions of the books, but my guess is we probably do. Um, but I will find out. But hopefully, we'll be given a grace period that you have to, you will have to take the course, the exam, and have these books by the time your competent person scheme renews. Now, lucky for me, mine doesn't renew until the end of November, so I've got a bit of time. Um, but I do hope we get a bit of leeway. But I hope that people aren't going to say, drop on us. No, by 28th of March, you've got to have this all done. I hope not, anyway. Um, it'd be a bit tricky anyway, but I've got a feeling the courses aren't out yet. Um, but there you go. <laughs> there you go. Great way to start the week, isn't it? Um, anyway, have a nice day, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.